We came to the United States when I was five and you know, my parents wanted to come here uh, because of opportunity and just a better life in general. We moved to Springfield and that's where we pretty much stayed. I'm considered an international student, but because of the Dreamer status, then they kind of acknowledge that I'm a New Jersey resident. And then from there, get the scholarship opportunities that most students get by being a resident in New Jersey. I remember having to just look at schools that were welcoming towards like immigrants and um, just had a lot of value. First being not so expensive, at the same time offering a really good degree in an industry that's kind of booming, which is you know tech. So NJIT was the place. So I had the grades, I had, I had the ambition, I had the drive, but because of my situation of like a dreamer status and limitations uh, that are put on me, um, I had a hard time applying to colleges, and I actually didn't apply until August. I went to NJIT, to the admissions office, and I realized, oh man, I'm late. Um, they're closed already. And then so I'm just waiting there, and then, like I see somebody, in that, and I'm, I'm trying to like flag him down and say like, hey, can you, can you talk to me? I kind of need to, like, I wanted to apply. And it turns out, you know, he comes out, his name's uh, Mr. Stephen Eck, and he's the executive admissions uh, at NJIT. You know, he talked to me, it literally took like a minute. He asked for my name, he asked, oh, what's your SAT score? What, did you get good grades in high school? And then like, um, he's like, okay, email me all your other stuff and then like, we'll get you in. And then he looked at my grades, he looked at my, you know, accomplishments and I got in, yeah. The NJIT was very kind in helping me with the process of finding out scholarships for me. They looked at my grades and they awarded me a scholarship on that and as well as a presidential scholarship for maintaining uh, A average and above, and as well as scholarships that were awarded because of my dreamer status, and that was really beneficial for me. Freshman year, I realized that it was gonna be very, very hard, or actually just impossible to get an internship. I went to all the, the campus uh, um, job fairs. I went through like the interview process, learning how to interview at companies like Facebook, you know, Google and all that, and now practicing my programming skills. If you can't get the qualification of working for them because of your status, then it's just not gonna work. And you know, I tried that and it was kind of upsetting. Starting my own company was became my focus. Being a business information systems major, I focused on my business classes like accounting. I, I made sure that I mastered it and as well as the technology side because that's the type of services that we would offer. NJIT really helped me expedite that process and really open up a lot of doors and opportunities. For Professors that teach at NJIT have such a great background in industry and in finance technology and a lot of them are entrepreneurs as well so um, learning from them and their mistakes and the wisdom that they impart was an amazing component of coming to NJIT. So last year, um, I and a couple of my friends started a web design and software development agency. Our company is Tarn Technologies, so we make websites for small and medium-sized uh, enterprises, as well as mobile applications, and we've been doing pretty well, so happy about that. I received the Highlander Student Emergency Fund because of my situation of trying to find a place to live during the COVID pandemic and I was running my own business as well or trying to from what I had on my savings. And so I was in a predicament of, oh, I can't really provide for myself now. You know, I remember getting an email from NJIT, you know, encouraging students that are in need to apply and they're really empathetic towards the situation and they helped me out. Because I did get the, the fund, I was able to take care of myself and kind of not have to worry about like basic necessities and then work towards like, you know, school and also the business. NGIT for me um, means limitless opportunities. NGIT, there's a community where everyone belongs and we're all striving towards, you know, being a, an expert in our domain.